Oh, here we are again now and it's like no time has passed Gazing out upon the sunset as it sinks into the night Many times it seemed as though a given day might be our last Face to face with certain death, it's somehow coming out alright I don't think that we have any cause to lament But there's quite a lot of thrilling intent Thrilling intent Thrilling intent, thrilling intent. Right, so... Um, and I guess the explosives were really going to have to uh, implement up close and personal, so... Correct. <sighs> also, if you don't mind, I would like to not be near those. The explosives? Yes, because if oh, they're because, designed... because of your, your, your fieriness. No, it's more the fact that they're designed to destroy angels. Ah. Yes. I also don't want to really be near them because they're designed to explode. Right, yeah, I, no, mean, I, I feel like I feel like they're really kind of anathema to just basic material existence up to, up to a certain range. <laughs> yeah, no, fair is fair. They're bad for everyone. I'm not trying to be like, oh, woe is me. But just to uh -huh, be fair, uh -huh. they are designed to kill me in particular. Yeah, yeah, no. So I, I think extra caution there makes a whole lot Most of sense. Most things are designed to kill us. Yeah. Well. Wow. That's dark. Hmm. Huh. It's fine. It's fine. I'll still, I'll still carry them because I'm probably the the strongest here. Whoa, whoa, besides, whoa, 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 wait, no, that's not fair to you. You were just saying you don't want to be near them. We can't make you carry when them. They when they go off, like I, I don't. I, I, I can make, I can make some imps to carry them. How about that? I might need. Are you sure they could carry it? Well, I would probably need like a nice little mass of imps to carry those but i it might it might it could work <laughs> yeah we have Maybe. no idea how many of your little goobers you'd need to carry it yeah it might be or like their tiny legs really... could keep up with us Right, that too. Yeah, fuck. Well, maybe if I tried really I'll hard, I could stuff. make one with longer legs. And if you summon too many, then <laughs> they might unionize that. again. <laughs> <laughs> so, may i ask what is the plan? <laughs> um, well, You'd think we'd be further in that planning process, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> Unfortunately, the the spectral voice of memory <laughs> kept us off track. No, I, I shouldn't blame it on the spectral voice. It was all us. <laughs> yeah, so, all right. To recap on the plans right now. One, we pretend that you're captured. We go in. Boom, bada, bing. We use my truck handcuffs. Train us together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, option two, we are more stealthy about it, not really alerting our presence, which is honestly probably smarter. Um, damn, did we only come up with two? Is that it? Well, no, is don't, that forget, don't forget, no, Gregor had a plan too. Gregor's plan was <laughs> run, run real, real fast, fast, straight at it, and hit it hard. And you're not right? going to like any of my plans. You well, know, well, it, what do you got? Come on. Open floor, yeah. Some, Give us, uh, give it to us in broad strokes. Uh, I wouldn't have sent the people away. I would have used them and as a shield and gone in. Whoa! Okay! <laughs> fuck! Um, Told you you wouldn't. Yeah, you. no, I should have listened to you. <laughs> I hate that you probably would have been a very efficient but just dreadful general. God, that, that, that <laughs> would probably work really well is the horrible part of it. Yes, it would. That's why we're not doing it. Yeesh. My God. Anyways, so <laughs> okay. So what if I didn't want to bring it up? <laughs> what if we it, tried it, to kind of join together aspects of a few of these plans? We can get to the kind of outer vicinity of the area around the tower by first acting as though we are your prisoners. Mercy. Hopefully, get past any straggling uh, ASMR who are, you know, outposted along the way. There. Once we get close enough. We break away, we go for a stealthier approach, right up until we have the final stretch of distance, at which point, I point at Gregor, we run in real fast and hit him hard. That could certainly work. Any, it sounded like you, you had maybe an idea. Yeah, like, we could always Sorry. try to go in stealthy first and then use mm -hmm. the, oh, we're caught as prisoners, as like a, oh, we got oh. caught, fall back. Mm -hmm. That's actually not a bad idea, because then it, it really solidifies uh, my, quotation marks, loyalty, <laughs> wink. Right. Um, well, 
<laughs> or yeah, we could stage some sort of fight where Mercy comes in and beats us all up and captures us. Oh no. Uh, let's all not us? I feel like we shouldn't I, I know I know this sounds ridiculous coming from me, but I think we shouldn't get too theatrical with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a reasonable way to make a living, but go off. <laughs> <laughs> now, my only my only problem with that, Inian, is that, like we were saying before, we don't know how 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 easily the angels themselves will be able to see through Mercy's now lack of bond with the tower. Um, if, if we were if we were to stealthily get right next to the tower and then be caught, if there are angels nearby and if they can see clear as day that Mercy is no longer bound to the, to the will of the tower, then that's that's not even going to have a chance to succeed. Uh, Silverfish steps forward and, uh, like, sort of offers a hand and, um, like, shakes their head. So, if the issue is the approach for the tower, um, maybe, maybe I could actually assist with that. Oh? Mm, well. That's wonderful, Silverfish, but I'd prefer to hear what our new friend has to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I would love okay. to hear what you have to say, Silverfish. <laughs> they, they, they squirrel backwards. Where they keep going? getting othello into the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, Silverfish, like, puts up a hand and is like, well, you still have the assembled might of, uh, both the merchant tree as well as whatever members of the, the military that you all brought back from that fortress. I think figuring out exactly how to use our personnel would be a wise decision. For example, if they decided to stage a skirmish on the far side of the tower, we could potentially draw everyone over that way. They raise their hands and then, like, sort of put them down afterwards. However, that does necessitate engaging in battle with those who have been reclaimed by the tower, and it also involves confronting the angels head to head thanks to actually something that you all brought back from the palace itself they scratch their chin there might actually be another way in um really? do you remember uh do you remember that stone that you brought us a carving of oh yes uh they they nod um I believe, using that, we might actually be able to... Okay. So, let's talk about let's talk about the palace's defenses, now that the palace is, um, quite literally ash and rubble. Uh, they, they hold up in their hands. There used to be a sort of, um, an enchantment that would deflect teleportation, fling you to the far sides of the country. Uh, if you would walk and approach the throne, you had to walk and approach the throne. The idea of a teleporting assassin was not something that the uh, king liked particularly much. Yeah, or, so, or, or just, um, you know, like a traveling, a teleporting solicitor trying to sell <laughs> stuff. <laughs> no good. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, I believe most palaces will have similar warning in place. We did discover, contained within that, what was functionally a hyper-condensed document, a library of the palace's various defenses. They, uh, they, they move forwards, and Indian's like, yeah, I was studying that thing. Um, you think any of those might still be in place? The silverfish shrugs. Regardless, I think it would be useful, especially if you're going deep into deep into that part of the country to keep them in mind. You might actually be able to teleport in with an adequately equipped alchemy lab. And he blinks a few oh, times wow. and then looks over at Mercy. You want to go back? You want to visit your house again? Oh, well, um, you know, I, I mean, it certainly sounds like the most efficient way. And besides, if we could teleport within the premises, one, that guarantees a large amount of stealth, and two, I highly doubt they'd have very many people within the palace itself as scoping it out. So it could be a pretty easy hidden avenue within. Silverfish kind of like nods. And he cups her chin. Well, in that case, what's the plan? The teleportation is kind of like zooming in the fastest and hitting them hard. That's that's true. Zooming in so fast that, like, you're... You're you're just from point A to point B immediately. And you can't from... zoom much faster than teleportation. 
And yeah. honestly, that prevents us from having to engage with ASMR directly. Because I doubt mm. they'd have any in the tower itself. Yeah, so. I hate talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm. Silverfish puts up their hands. In that case, what do we do with our armed forces that we've gathered? Ah, mm. yes. Right. Well, honestly, I think our best course of action would be to... Hmm, my immediate thought would be to just remain on the defensive. Do not directly engage the tower because if we do that, they're going to get wiped out. They just are. It's not doubting their abilities. It's just they're outnumbered and outgunned. Mm. But I doubt it would make people feel comfortable to just be sitting on their hands as they see loved ones walking towards the tower, despite the fact that yes. we've already somewhat modified that situation. And if, if while we're inside the palace, we need some sort of large-scale diversion, right. I think that our armed forces will be, I mean, the only option to accomplish that with. We don't know exactly what will happen when we destroy the tower, so we might need to have an escape route or something. It Let's might see. not magically solve our problems. That's another great point, yeah. Right. I see. Well, in that case, I'll keep everyone on standby. Uh, hold on. Um, uh, Silverfish looks over to Mercy. Are you able to create gouts of flame? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, they're like moving around. Uh, alchemists g gestures to themselves. Anyan like takes a step over this way. Do you think you could set up some sort of a flare that you all could set up? Just simple color coding. If you need something, I could always mobilize the army if you shoot it off from wherever you are in the capital. Are Indian. you asking if I can make things go boom in different colors? <laughs> yes, pretty much. <laughs> yes, I learned that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I then. thought that was basically all alchemists did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> in that I case, I thought that was. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, uh, they look over to Mercy. If you come up with a simple list of orders that we could accomplish, like a list of four or five, uh, and alchemists, if you could provide us with flares of those colors, we could respond best to your orders even while you're within the enemy capital. Of course, it'll give away your position, but I figure you'll only be handing out orders to begin with if the situation has gone tits up. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, hmm, I think that's obviously... A, we excellent could... suggestion. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no. Silverfish, you might have missed your... Actually, I'm glad you're not a part of the military, but really, you, you <laughs> have had a great shot at it. I really think... Um, all right. So, obviously, one for engaging with the enemy... Um, but should we have multiple multiple commands for engaging? Because I feel like a diversionary attack is not necessarily the same as an all out all out attack with the aim of causing a breach in their defenses. So or... here's what I'm gonna do for this: mm -hmm. you all will set whatever commands you have off screen. You can decide in the moment what command you set nice. when you fire off the flare. Okay, cool, cool. So Fabulous. You yeah, you Perfect. don't got our, uh, like, decide about them beforehand. You just say, oh, red flare. That means this. And you get five right, right. shots of that. Cool. Oh, cool. Perfect. I love that. <laughs> Loves it. <laughs> the most all efficient right. way. <laughs> now that we've come up with all of what the fireworks do... <laughs> <laughs> the fuchsia flare. They need sandwiches. <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> I am really surprised that just like the speed and succinctness with which we came up with those. Yeah, we're brilliant tacticians. <laughs> it's true. Just yeah, it's like true. Fanning herself. I think we right. forget that sometimes. Okay, so if we are going back to my home, do, oh god, do we? Do you need Faria to help with that by chance? Indian opens and closes her mouth and is like, <laughs> well, maybe. Yeah, I, I think it'd be safer if we did that. All right, well, I'm... Oh, God, do I bring the goobers? Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, you've got a decision to make. I... Oh, God, and then if we're teleporting, I'm going to leave them all at the house. <sighs> Isn't that the best place for them to be? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Um... Crap basket. I need to talk to my husband. 